Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz. So in this video, we are solving the fourth question of Lead Code Weekly Contest 232. Name of the program is Maximum Score of Good Subarray. You are given an array of integers, zero indexed, and an integer k. The score of the subarray from i to j is defined as uh, the minimum from i to j multiplied by the gap between this uh, i and j. Okay. A a good subarray is a subarray where um, the index k which is given to us lies between this i and j. Basically, um, from if if the subarray is from this i to j, this k should lie somewhere between this i and j. Okay. Return the maximum possible score. Now in this case, the given k is three. 0 1 2 3 so this element should come into picture so the m the maximum score subarray is from the element 4 till 5 okay the minimum is 3 multiplied by the gap that is there are how many elements are there in this subarray number of elements in this subarray is 5 so 5 into 3 is 15 that is the answer now while i was doing the contest i came up with a solution so i'll just explain you how did i come up with this let me just copy this particular test case over here <coughs> so the first thing is to notice the index k the index k in this case is 3 0 1 2 3 so this element should come into picture okay and this element should be included in the final answer now how many elements should I include from the right hand side how many elements should I include in the left hand side so basically I'm dividing this uh, entire uh, subarray into entire array into two parts this middle element or the kth element this element is dividing it this is the left hand part I will call it LHS left hand side this is my right hand side okay now I want to see how many elements can I include from the right hand side and from the left hand side all right now for that um, if I'm including this 4 from the left hand side if I'm not including anything and if I'm including 4 from the right hand side the minimum is 4 the answer will be 2 elements that is 7 and 4 2 multiplied by 4 8 if I'm including 5 that means what is the minimum then if I'm including 5 the minimum is still 4 because these three elements will be included and I'm ignoring the left hand side okay I'm just ignoring this side three elements minimum is four so here it should be four so three multiplied by four it is twelve all right the minimum is still four the minimum for this if, I, if I'm not including anything from the left hand side and from the right hand side the answer will be seven multiplied by one that is seven all right now let us say if I am taking the left hand side and from the left hand side I'm including the first element that is three minimum of seven and three is three there are two elements so 3 into 2 6 if I'm including these three elements the minimum is still 3 so the minimum is still 3 3 into 3 3 elements that is 9 okay if I'm including 1 then the minimum is 1 and 1 into 4 elements that is 4 the minimum is 1 so if I somehow find these minimums if I find these minimums then I will be able to calculate the answers how so let's say uh, the minimum till this position in the right hand side is 4 the minimum till this position is 4 so I know how many elements can I include um, I'm including all these elements starting from the kth position till this particular position but I will be able to know that how many elements can I include from the left hand side as well in this case I will not be able to include any any element from the left hand side because um, in the left hand side all the elements are smaller than 4 but let us say if uh, on the left hand side there are few elements which are greater than 4 so if it is 7 4 4 and let us say 5 5 4 3 1 3 uh, 3 um, okay 3 1 1 if these were the elements then for this particular element 4 this is the middle uh, this is the kth element this is the right hand side so for this particular element I will be able to include all these elements why because if 4 um, not 3 till this position yeah till this 4 I will be able to include all these elements why because the minimum will remain 4 so I will be able to pick all these elements from the left hand side which are greater than or equal to 4 okay 
then there will be one two three four five five elements and the minimum will be four so five into four is twenty but in this case as we can see there is no element which is greater than four so I will not include anything I will only have these two elements so it will be eight when I am here at this position I will be able to include only these three elements so it is twelve answer is twelve but now let us see let us go to the left hand side do the same thing so in the left hand side if I am here three obviously I will be able to include these two elements for sure but what will I be able to include from the right hand side I will be able to include the uh, elements on the right hand side which is greater than 3 so I will be able to include all the elements on the right hand side all these elements on the right hand side okay these two elements so the first task is to see to calculate this array which is the which is having the minimum element at all the positions starting from the kth position going backward for the left hand side going forward for the right hand side if I will be having this it will be very simple to calculate the answer so we'll be going step by step or uh, should I first uh, explain the entire algorithm okay just let me just explain the entire algorithm first let me take another example let's say um, 8 is the kth element this is the kth element 8 now after 8 uh, the elements are 6 7 4 5 okay and here it is 7 7 5 2 1 now I'm saying that we have to calculate the minimum so minimum um, starting from the kth position this is the right hand side this is the left hand side minimum here is 8 minimum here is 6 it will be 6 and it will be 5 it will be 4 okay and for this part it will be 7 7 5 2 and 1 this is the minimum now let's say um, now if I'm looking for the answer on the right hand side I will be going to each of these elements one by one I will go to 6 okay now how many elements can be included from the um, left hand side how many elements can be include we can include till the point the smallest element is greater than or equal to 6 so we can include till here if we include all the elements still here we will be having 1 2 3 4 total number of 4 elements and the minimum will be 6 6 into 4 that is 24 now if I'm going to this position this position the minimum is 6 so again the same story I will be able to calculate uh, till 7 so there are 5 elements 5 into 6 30 if I'm here for this 5 if I'm here I need um, I can pick till the point the smallest element is greater than or equal to 5 so I can pick till here okay the smallest element will be 5 and total number of elements will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 into 5 35 if I'm here I will be able to pick all the elements which are smaller than um, I mean which are greater than or equal to 4 so till this position again till this position so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 into 4 32 okay this is the maximum till now again I, I can repeat the same process on the left hand side so I'll be going to this element first 7 I can pick all the elements which are greater than or equal to 7 so mm, as I can see on the right hand side I have nothing I can only pick till the kth element so only two elements 2 into 7 is 14 again for this 7 it is 3 into 7 that is 21 for 5 now for 5 I can pick till this point so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 into 5 35 and so on I can just repeat this process so for this element this is 2 so for 2 I can pick till this point till the end so I need to generate this minimum element array which I can simply um, do using the for loops okay I'll just show you the code so let me just show you the code here yeah so this is the code here I am calculating the minimum element minimum element for the kth position is obviously k nums of k now forget about this map forget about uh, everything about this map okay just forget about it we are calculating the minimum element so minimum element of i is equal to minimum of minimum element i minus 1 and um, nums of i this is for the um, right hand side okay cool similarly this is for the left hand side now once we calculated this minimum element array now we need to uh, search 
we need to search let me just get rid of this then I will explain so if I am able to generate the minimum array the minimum array will be something like this 8 6 6 5 and 4 here it will be 7 7 5 2 and 1 so let us say I am traversing on the right hand side so for this element I need to find the index the position on the left hand side how many elements can be included from the left hand side so we need to find that particular position so I will do a binary search okay I can simply do a binary search I can know all these uh, indices will be in decreasing order all these indices will be also in decreasing order so I can simply uh, do a binary search so I can find the element um, 7 okay so the minimum element the minimum index the minimum index i at which the element is greater than or equal to 6 I can simply do that using a uh, lower bond okay so I can store corresponding to all these values uh, corresponding to all these values in the left hand side I can store their indices I can also include the kth element in the left hand side so I will create a map called LHS left hand side and inside this map I will create corresponding to all these uh, values I will create uh, I will store the indices now at these indices I will be um, as the map is sorted I will be able to use the function lower bound that is uh, of the complexity n log n binary search okay and using that lower bound I will be able to find out the index like for 6 I will be able to find out the element which is equal to or greater than 6 that will be 7 so for 7 the corresponding index will be i so 7 is actually at two positions so here also 7 7 is here also but I will store corresponding to 7 I will store the lower index because I want the gap to be maximized so I will not store the index of this I will store the index of this 7 similarly for 6 I have two 6's but I will be storing this 6 index of this 6 that is larger I want to maximize the gap right so that is what I'm doing here you can simply have a look at the code uh, this is the RHS map in the RHS map first of all I'm inserting the position for the element K and then going backward similarly um, for the left hand side I'm storing the first I'm storing the value K then I'm going uh, to the left hand side from from right to left okay and this is nothing here what I'm doing is here I'm doing the uh, lower bond so the lower bond is going to give me the index it will give me the index and then I can simply uh, find the gap and multiply it by the element X which is the current low lowest element okay so this solution will be accepted and what about the time complexity the space complexity space complexity is big of n because we are using uh, extra n space to store all these elements here it is extra n space in the maps also extra n space uh, the time complexity so basically this is big o of n loop but in each iteration there is a binary search operation that is again log n so it is the complexity time complexity becomes n log n in total alright so this is it for the solution I hope you like the video uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more such content in future thank you